I'm going to talk about an important option for real estate investors who are looking to do a 1031 exchange in a low inventory environment coming up next. Hey, what's going on friends? This week we're going to talk about Delaware Statutory Trusts or DSTs and this is a somewhat not well known option when it comes to doing 1031 exchanges and we have other videos on that you can look up what a 1031 exchange is but it's basically a way to defer your capital gains tax if you are selling an investment property and buying another investment property and there are some timelines involved with that where you have to identify within 45 days and close within 180 days of that first sale of that first property and then the acquisition of the second one and in a low inventory market, that can be difficult because you may not have a lot of options. So maybe if you're selling in Colorado and you wanna buy in Hawaii and the right thing isn't available at the time, you have that 45 day and 180 day window where you have to make that happen or you lose your ability to defer your capital gains tax. So another option which exists, which isn't widely known, but is a definite uh, good option if you wanna have kind of a third option just in case your first two don't work out is a DST or Delaware Statutory Trust. And it's a legal entity created in the state of Delaware and that's why it's called a Delaware Statutory Trust. And for real estate, you can use it as an investment that will suffice to be able to move your 1031 exchange funds and defer those capital gains. And so the, some things to understand about it and um, just, be aware of before you get into this is it's a way that investors pool their money and acquire real estate properties. So sometimes they buy uh, office buildings or maybe medical facilities or other types of investment properties that generate income and investors can pool all their funds together and then the DST that manages it will then buy those properties and distribute the the dividends that come from that passive income that's coming out of those properties that those properties are generating. So the important thing to understand is as an investor, you somewhat become a passive owner because you're not actively managing or involved in the investment. You are giving the money to the DST and then the DST is then investing it and you will be paid accordingly based on the, the agreements of the distribution of that income monthly or quarterly. So it's a really good option in the low inventory market that we're in because if you don't have a lot of options and you're not sure what you want to buy maybe that that perfect house or that perfect condo isn't available you can use a dst to house that money for a short period of time or maybe a year or two or even longer you may even like it better because you don't even have to do anything right it's set it and forget it you don't have to manage a short-term vacation rental or manage a long-term rental and you can draw a dividend off of it and if you sell it in the future um you can sell it for the appreciation that that property appreciated for so just a, another option you have to identify three properties when within that 45 day period after your first investment property closes and this can be one of them right you can have two property addresses and then the delaware statutory trust can be your third option so if the first two don't work out you have that fallback option of the dst to invest your money in but very important i am not a tax advisor or a uh, investment advisor so make sure you get expert advice before you make this type of decision but it's something that I wanted you to be aware of and understand that this is an option and if you're looking to sell an investment property somewhere at 1031 exchange of money and you're having difficulty finding something to exchange that money into look into a Delaware statutory trust it's a great option if you have any questions you put them in the comments below or email me at dylan at buybigisland.com and I will get right back to you see you guys next week Aloha.